Hello everybody, Jimmy is Promo here, and in this video I'm going to teach you guys the easiest and fastest way to transfer music from your iPhone or iPad, basically your iDevice, over to a Samsung Galaxy device. And all you would have to have is a micro USB cable, which is basically an, an adapter that is on the other side, has a USB port. Or you can actually, if you have the Samsung Galaxy S7 or the S7 Edge, it comes with a USB connector in the box that you can use for Samsung Smart Switch. And that's basically what I'm going to do in the very first half of this video is showing you guys Samsung Smart Switch because it is easy, it is fast. And then the other way is to show you a website where you can actually transfer everything via uh, a program on your Windows computer or your Mac computer. So over here on the iPhone, I placed in 14 different songs that is actually not on this device over here, which is the Samsung Galaxy S7. Uh, there's only a few here, and you guys can see that none of them is either by Avant or Dead by April. So this is the steps. Pull down the notifications panel on the Samsung Galaxy S7 or the S7 Edge. The other thing you'll be able to do is you've, if you have a different Samsung device other than the S7, then just go to the Play Store and search for Samsung Smart Switch. Now, on the Galaxy S7, they actually placed the Samsung Smart Switch inside of the settings of Backup and Reset. And on the very top is where it says Open Samsung Smart Switch. So this is where you're saying if you are going from your old devices in iOS or Android or BlackBerry. And you can actually learn more to be able to use this cable and the adapter, which this right here mentions, hey, you plug the adapter into your new device and your old device will actually be done with a USB cable, which I have right here. And so it also talks about the supported old devices, Galaxy devices, which Android 4.3 or higher. The iOS devices have to be iOS 5 or higher. And then BlackBerry, it has to be the BlackBerry 7 OS or lower. So let's get into it. So you take the Samsung Galaxy S7 or whichever Samsung device you have, you plug in the little adapter on the very bottom. Then what you do is you plug in your USB inside of there. And then simply enough, you just take your little uh, cable for the iPhone and then you plug it in. And so now it is actually connecting to the iOS device. And you want to make sure that the first time that you usually plug it in, you want to say trust device or trust computer. And then this is where it is able to read it. And this will take a little bit of time depending on how much information you have stored on your phone. Now, if you don't have a Samsung Galaxy S7 or S7 Edge and you don't have this little adapter, then most stores usually has this that is actually in the store that can be able to transfer everything for you. Or you can purchase this on Amazon for yourself to search for micro USB to USB OTG. So here is the contents of the iPhone. I don't need to move over the app list. Don't need to move over calendar, memo. Don't want to move over anything. Don't want to move over the pictures, nothing. All I want is the music. So for anybody who just wants to share music. So if this is my best buddy, Tom, or Josh, or if I want to head over to my other friend's house, let's say Megan, I can just plug this into their iPhone or iDevice and grab any of their music. Shoot, if I wanted to, I can run into all three of those people and grab all of their music off of all three of their phones. And you just hit transfer. And this is how easy it is. And now all the music that was on this phone is now over here. And all it is is it is a copy and paste. So it is not a cut and paste. So basically all the music that I just took from here is still on the iPhone. I just happened to also pick it up over here. So let's close the application and pull out my little adapter head over into music. And then this is where you can go into what was recently added. And so what was recently added is all of these songs here, which wasn't there prior. So here's all the dead by April songs and also have the Avant song. And basically you just press on any of them. And that is actually how you are able to get any of the songs that is on your iDevice to a Samsung Galaxy device. Now, remember if you're not switching from an iPhone to a Samsung and you just want to have your friends's music, this is how you'd be able to share it extremely easy. Um, and uh, that's pretty much it on that. Now, let's say that you don't have your iPhone with you and you want to upload all your music uh, from your computer up to the cloud. You can actually put it up onto Google Play Music and then you'll be able to use the Google Play option for music right here that will have all the music synced to your phone and you can have up to 50,000 songs. Now, another way you'd be able to do it is if you have both of these and you are actually at home and you have a Windows or a Mac computer, which is basically all of them, then what you'd be able to do is head up on the internet on that laptop at home. What you will type in is a website called wondershare.com. Once you go to wondershare.com, you will scroll down and it is actually a tool that is for music. And then what you do is you actually go down to manage music 
And then on the computer again, this is where you can click on see more details. Now there is a free trial that you can do or you can actually purchase this. So if you purchase it, I believe it's about 50 or 60 bucks. And all it does is you open up this little program and let's say that I click on this image and I wanna open it a little bit more. Um, what'll happen is you plug in the iPhone. You also plug in your Samsung Galaxy device. Both of them right here will show up underneath devices. You literally click on music underneath the iPhone. On the very top, there is actually a export option. And then when you click on export, you just say export to Samsung Galaxy device. That is it. Then everything from the iPhone that you've selected, you can select it file by file and everything moves over to your Samsung Galaxy device. Now, if I was to suggest any of these three ways of transferring all the music from your iDevice, over to a Samsung Galaxy device. Obviously the one that I would suggest is the very first one I showed because it is extremely easy, extremely simple, and it is also extremely fast. So I hope you guys like this video. Make sure you guys hit on like and subscribe. Also follow me on all my social media sites. It is Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. They're all at Jimmy is promo. So I'll see you guys later.